Positive thinking has the potential to be a game changer in your life, influencing everything from your personal well-being to your interactions with others and your ability to achieve your goals. In this video, we will delve into positive thought habits that, when embraced, can reshape your reality and set you on a path to a more vibrant and meaningful existence. Keep watching and start living your best life today. Number 1. Forgive easily. Forgiving others is a deeply personal decision, and it's not my place to tell you to forgive someone. You may not feel ready to let go of certain grievances, and that's entirely understandable. However, I'd like to suggest that releasing minor annoyances can significantly enhance your daily life. This approach has certainly worked wonders for me. For instance, when your neighbor accidentally takes your dustbin or someone cuts in front of you in line, these small irritations can really get under your skin and ruin your day if you hold on to them. While these incidents may elicit a raised eyebrow or a moment of irritation, it's crucial to remind yourself to let them go. Minor hiccups happen frequently, and it's almost certain you will encounter them from time to time. By choosing to stop worrying about these small annoyances and deciding to forgive, you free yourself from unnecessary stress. This act of letting go enables you to enjoy the rest of your day without carrying negative emotions. When you find yourself getting annoyed by a minor incident, take a moment to acknowledge what's happening. Recognizing your irritation is the first step toward releasing it. Sometimes, all it takes is a deep breath to calm down and regain perspective. Breathing deeply can help lessen that immediate irritation and give you a moment to choose how to respond. Instead of dwelling on the annoyance, try to focus on something positive. Think about something that brings you happiness or something you're looking forward to. Shifting your focus can help diminish the power of the annoyance. Ask yourself if this minor inconvenience will matter in the grand scheme of things. Often, you'll find it's not worth the stress and energy you're expending. Actively decide to let go of the annoyance. You might even say to yourself, I choose to forgive and move on. This conscious decision reinforces your commitment to letting go. For example, if a colleague makes an offhand comment that bothers you, rather than stewing over it, you can decide to forgive and move on. By doing this, you prevent that comment from affecting your mood and productivity for the rest of the day. Forgiving easily doesn't mean you have to ignore all wrongdoings or never stand up for yourself. It simply means choosing not to let minor inconveniences take up space in your mind and impact your happiness. Practicing easy forgiveness allows you to maintain a more positive and relaxed outlook on life. You'll discover that your days are more enjoyable and less weighed down by the small irritations that used to bother you. While you may not feel ready to forgive everyone for everything, letting go of minor grievances is a powerful tool for enhancing your well-being. It frees you from unnecessary negativity and lets you focus on the positive aspects of your day. Practice forgiving easily and you'll find yourself feeling lighter and more at peace. Number 2. Don't compare yourself to others who hasn't compared themselves to others at some point. We all do it, yet it can be a painful experience, especially if we judge ourselves harshly. It's natural to compare to a certain extent, but it can go too far. When making comparisons upsets you, it's a signal that it's time to adopt a different perspective and view the world anew. Changing your perspective on comparisons can be challenging, but it's worth the effort. Instead of focusing on others, reflect on your own goals and achievements. By comparing yourself to your previous performances, you can track your progress and see how far you've come. This shift doesn't mean you won't notice how others are doing. It means you can genuinely celebrate their successes without feeling inadequate. For instance, when your friend achieves something great, instead of feeling envious or questioning why you haven't accomplished the same, think, good for them. This mindset allows you to appreciate others' successes without diminishing your own worth. You start to realize that everyone's journey is unique, and their achievements do not negate your own progress. By focusing on your growth, you become your own benchmark. Look back at where you started and recognize the improvements you've made. This approach fosters healthier self-esteem and a more positive outlook. For example, if you've been working on a personal project, 
compare your current results to your initial efforts, and celebrate the skills you've developed and the obstacles you've overcome. Acknowledging your own progress can be incredibly empowering. When you achieve a personal milestone, take a moment to pat yourself on the back and recognize your hard work and dedication. This self-acknowledgement reinforces your self-worth and motivates you to keep pursuing your goals. Comparing yourself to others often stems from insecurity and a desire for validation. However, when you shift your focus to your own journey, you realize that the only validation you need comes from within. You start to understand that your value isn't determined by how you stack up against others, but by your own growth and achievements. This doesn't mean you should ignore others completely. There's value in observing and learning from those around you. However, let their successes inspire you rather than diminish you. Use their achievements as motivation to continue working on your own goals, but remember that your path is unique. Number 3. Think about solutions, not problems. Have you ever noticed how easy it is to focus on what's going wrong in your life instead of what's going right? It's a common tendency for people to dwell on their problems, ruminating over them without considering possible solutions. This mindset can be exhausting and overwhelming. When you fixate on problems and view them negatively, it can fill you with gloom and make everything seem much worse than it really is. This negative outlook can create a heavy burden that affects your mood and overall well-being, like carrying around a dark cloud that follows you everywhere. However, there's a powerful shift that can significantly alter how you feel and handle challenges. Focusing on solutions, when you concentrate on finding solutions, it changes your entire perspective. Instead of feeling stuck and helpless, you begin to see opportunities and possibilities. This approach can energize you and give you a sense of purpose and direction. When faced with a challenging situation at work, instead of spending hours worrying about what went wrong or who is to blame, you should begin to think about how to fix it. Consider what steps you can take to improve the situation and what resources are available to assist you. By shifting your focus to solutions, not only do you begin to see a way forward, but you also feel more in control and optimistic. This change in perspective doesn't just aid in problem solving. It also positively impacts your mood. When you actively seek solutions, you're more likely to feel motivated and hopeful, putting a spring in your step and making you more resilient in the face of difficulties. To cultivate this mindset as a habit, start by catching yourself when you begin to dwell on problems. Ask yourself, what can I do to improve this situation? Or what are the possible solutions? It may take some practice, but over time, this way of thinking can become second nature. For instance, if you feel stressed about a personal relationship, instead of concentrating on the issues, think about what actions you can take to enhance communication or resolve conflicts. If you're worried about your finances, start planning a budget or look for ways to boost your income. By consistently focusing on solutions, you'll find that you become more proactive and less reactive. This proactive approach not only helps you handle challenges more effectively, but also contributes to a more positive and resilient mindset. Number 4. Don't take things personally. How do you react when someone is angry with you for seemingly no reason? Imagine a delivery person with a surly attitude when they arrive at your door to deliver a package. Instead of responding with anger, you might consider that they've had a bad day and are merely letting off steam. While you don't condone their gruff demeanor, you choose not to take it personally. After all, they don't know you, and their attitude likely has little to do with you. Even when someone you know behaves offhand, you're unlikely to take offense. This mindset stems from your habit of focusing on positivity, making a conscious effort to see the good in situations and people, which helps you maintain a positive outlook. But it's more than just staying positive. You also value your mental health, happiness, and energy. You recognize that getting angry at someone with a poor attitude drains your energy and disrupts your peace of mind. It's like carrying a heavy burden that you don't need. Moreover, being defensive doesn't change their mindset. It only prolongs the negative experience when it could be resolved quickly. You've learned that your reaction is within your control 
and by choosing not to take things personally, you protect your well-being. Not taking things personally grants you a sense of freedom. It prevents you from getting tangled up in other people's negativity or adding to their angst. This approach keeps you grounded and stops you from dragging yourself down. When you don't take things to heart, you avoid unnecessary stress and emotional turmoil. It's like having a protective shield that keeps you from absorbing the negativity around you. There's no reason for you to take things to heart that don't warrant your worry. If you get offended, you only end up hurting yourself without improving anything. Holding on to grudges or feeling offended doesn't enhance the situation. It merely makes you feel worse. Thus, you've learned to let go of these feelings quickly. You don't mind if others think you should be angry when you'd prefer to be happy. You've found that maintaining a laid-back attitude benefits you and positively impacts those around you. Your calm demeanor can diffuse tense situations and often help uplift other people's moods more swiftly. When someone expects an angry reaction and instead receives a peaceful response, it can be disarming and lead to a more positive interaction. By not taking things personally, you can save your energy for the more important and positive aspects of life. Understand that everyone has bad days and their actions often reflect their struggles, not your worth. This perspective helps maintain your peace of mind and fosters a more harmonious environment around you. When you choose not to take things personally, you liberate yourself from the emotional weight of other people's actions and words. Number 5. Put yourself in other people's shoes. Putting yourself in someone else's shoes can be challenging when they upset you. However, developing the habit of imagining what it's like to be that person, living in their situation with their troubles, can foster compassion and understanding toward them. Think about a time when someone upset you. Instead of immediately reacting with anger or frustration, take a moment to consider what they might be experiencing. Ask yourself what might be happening in their life that could be causing them to act this way. Perhaps they're dealing with stress at work, personal issues, or health concerns. By contemplating these possibilities, you can soften your response and approach the situation with empathy. You might find it helpful to directly ask the person questions if the situation allows. For instance, if a colleague snaps at you, you could calmly inquire if everything is all right. This not only demonstrates that you care, but also gives them a chance to share what's bothering them. Sometimes, simply knowing that someone is willing to listen can significantly affect their behavior. It's natural to feel defensive or upset when someone mistreats you, and it's okay to have those feelings. However, by making a conscious effort to understand others' perspectives, you can manage your reactions better. This practice helps you stay calm and reduces the stress that comes from misunderstandings and conflicts. Remember, nobody is perfect and everyone slips up occasionally. There will be moments when you feel your anger rising, despite your best efforts. The key is to recognize these instances and gently remind yourself to consider the other person's point of view. Over time, this will become a habit and you'll find it easier to remain empathetic even in challenging situations. Making a habit of putting yourself in other people's shoes not only enhances your relationships, but also improves your well-being. It enables you to navigate social interactions with greater ease and lessens the emotional burden of conflict. Empathy can transform your perspective, allowing you to see the humanity in everyone you encounter. I hope you enjoyed watching my video. As always, wishing you a beautiful day. Don't forget to subscribe to Stoicism Stoic and like and share this video.